Um, I, I want, want to add, um, because we have a big universe and lots of planets, yes, and there yes. may, might be other civilizations. And you said that um, from 1962 it was impossible to reincarnate in, on the Earth. On this planet, on yes. This planet. Um, could it be um, so that um, 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 other uh, individuals from other planets reincarnate here now after... 1962 or uh no they're all separated by every sphere uh, that we've been discussing uh, and i've talked to i've done some interviews recently with some people about the universe and how it's constructed and it's basically constructed each universe because there are many many of them and so the entire universe is made up of each of lots and lots of different universes and rather than me getting into it in a discussion about uh, the law of attraction um, i can just give a brief summary and that is that that each universe has its own pool of souls, if you like, that incarnate into that universe. And so if you are going to what you call reincarnate, and reincarnate is not the right term for it really, because um, it's, a, it's a connection to a different body, even while you're maintaining connections to other bodies. So it's not actually the same as what you would call reincarnation. The, the reincarnation teachings that you have called reincarnation, you know, that you would have heard of, are not the same thing that I'm claiming. Um, and in fact, the reincarnation teachings that are taught on this planet are all false, actually. Um, they, they, and, and you learn about how false they are as you pass through the spirit world, generally. But uh, those beliefs are all often surrounding desires on the part of people on the earth to be attached to the earth. In other words, they want to believe that they can come back to this earth and have another life so that they can fix up the last life that happened that wasn't too good, right? And they want to believe that over and over again. Now my beard is scraping on my mic. And they want to believe that, that they can come back over and over again to fix up the past. But the reality is you don't have to come back to fix up the past. What you need to do is right now, the way to fix up the past is very simple. Right now, make a choice that's more loving. That's how you fix up the past. Right now, make a choice that's more loving. Right now, make a choice that's more truthful. Don't wait for some future event to do that. Do it right now. And, and the reality is, unfortunately, that the teachings of reincarnation have a tendency to encourage you to put off the right now and, and in fact, delay your progression. Many of the people who believe in reincarnation on earth pass into the spirit world and they try to reincarnate to people back into earth, find they cannot, and then they spend many, many years in the spirit world, unfortunately, in a, str in a very strong feeling of, of rage and, and anger about the fact that they can't come back to earth and that they only had one chance here, is the viewpoint. Now, you don't only have one chance here, but you do have to question why you're so focused on earth when every single universe that is above this earth in terms of dimensional space is more complex, more beautiful, more experiential, more um, enjoyably, enjoyable emotionally, so why would you be so create, create belief systems that want you to be constrained to the earth? You've got to e examine, we've got to examine the reasons why we do things, even why we create belief systems. And, and it's interesting when you talk to the spirits about these things, because when you talk to them, many spirits come to you who still believe in reincarnation, but they've never been able to reincarnate. And then when you talk to them about that and why they haven't and what's going on, then they realise that the whole belief system has flaws. And then once they realise that, then they start progressing in the spirit world to more lovely conditions that are all to do about love. And, and this is what I'm saying, is in the end... This is all about refining our condition of love. True spirituality is about refining your condition of love. That's all it's about. It's re that's, that's the pinnacle of real spirituality, just refining your condition of love. And, and that's what we need to bear in mind with this. 